Good morning, guys. I'm here uh, to help out with the Development One uh, coaching certification program that you did. Uh, I know that when we, get, when we go into those, those certification programs, sometimes I see the look on, on new prospective coaches' faces when we talk about drill progressions, and uh, they're not really sure what, what we mean. So what I've, what I've done today is I've created a practice for an under-13 team here in North Bay, and the emphasis in the middle of the practice will be on progression. And what you'll see on the progression drills, it'll progress from a one-on-o to a one-on-one, -on -one, to a two-on-one, -on -one, all from the same starting position. We'll have a warm-up for the players, we'll have a warm-up for the goalies, we'll have a, 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 a team-orientated drill, and we'll end up with a small room game. We hope we can fit it all in in the 50 minutes, but I hope you, you understand after watching this video what we mean by, uh, by progression drills. So to start out, today's the first day the ice is on in, in North Bay, Ontario. Our coaches have been on the ice. They've checked the ice out to make sure that there's no deficiencies in the ice. Everything's safe. Our coaches have made sure the doors are closed. Our trainers have the water on the bench. We're ready to go. Our trainer also has the emergency action plan in case, and hopefully it never happens, in case there is an injury out here. Everyone knows what the responsibilities are. So in saying that, We'll have coaches out on the ice in different areas, and they'll all be reinforcing the players with positive stimulus, positive feedback, and we look to have a good 50-minute skate here. Thank you very much. All right, well, we have 10 guys. So listen up, guys. The, the, the objective of the skate today is to help coaches in their certification program, and we ask you when you're doing the drill to try and do it correctly. And we're going to show my, my emphasis for coaches today is on how do you set up a progression drill. We could use a few more guys, but we'll work with what we have, and, and this is what, it, what it'll look like. To warm up, to warm up, I would like you to pair off. The goalies can work on their movement in the net. The other players can pair up and play one-on-one. -on -one. So we'll blow the whistle, and away you go. You have the puck in a small area. Don't skate around the rink. Stay in a small area. It's working on your stick handling playing one-on-one. -on -one. After two minutes of that, we'll make it two-on-two. -two. We'll have two white against two red, and on the other end, we'll have two white against two red as well. All right, and after that, so those are the first two. It's one-on-one, two-on-two, -on -one, two -on -two, two -on -two, small area. Goalies are working on their movements. They're not shooting. You're doing your T-push and your slide push for four or five minutes. Then the shots come. So the first shooting drill, we'll have two Two players in each corner. Have two players in each corner. We'll have cones on the dots. The player one comes like this with a puck and shoots. Player two at this end comes down here around the cones and shoots. Player one from this corner here comes across the dots and shoots. And player two from this side comes across this way and down and shoots. Is that clear? All right, so spread out over the ice, small room one on one. On the whistle, then it's two on two. All right, are we ready? Let's go. Rest. Rest. Ready? Rest. Last one coming up, last one. Gotta go hard. You guys are going two against two. You guys are going three against three. I need one of you with the white and one with the red. Three against three in a small area. Three, two on two in a small area. Ready?
in a small area, small area. Rest, rest, 20 second rest. Ready? This is a warm up for the players. Now we'll go to a warm up for the goalies. Two red in that corner, two white in that corner. Two white in that corner, two red in that corner. You guys are short skate. This side's a short skate, first cone. You guys are long skate, you're long skate. You guys are long skate. You guys are short skate. Ready? Here we are warming up the goalies now. Players getting a little bit of speed going. Warm the goalies up. Warm the goalies up. Warm the goalie up! Too high! Warm the goalie up! That's it, that's the way to skate. Push, push, push. Good. So this is still the warm up phase. We'll have this, we'll have one more warm up drill for the goalies. Then we'll get into the progression session that I was gonna emphasize for the coaches and the development certification program. Good. Players moving their feet, handling the puck, tight turns. Shoot! Last one, last one, last one! Not a lot of guys, so you gotta think about the work rest ratio a little bit. Get them a drink of water. Drink of water. So because we don't have enough players, we'll run this next exercise from uh, two sides instead of all four sides. And what we'll be doing is it'll be a, an outside shot for the goalie with a mid lane drive from the player looking for a rebound. So I'll need a coach. I'll need a coach at opposite blue lines being the passer. This is how this drill works right here. Player one, we're gonna start at the same time. Normally this is done at the four blue line stations. These next drills, should be done at the four blue line stations, but because we don't have enough players, we'll modify it a little bit. We'll have the coaches as passers. So player one on each line starts with a puck and gives a pass to the coach. And then he does what we call delay skate. So he takes a step inside the blue line. Player two starts behind him. The coach gives player two the pass. Player one now goes down the boards. 
player two goes up the middle. Player two passes it back to player one. Player one stays outside, and you're looking to shoot off the goalie's pads. You're looking to shoot off the goalie's pads. The drill is for the goalie, it's a shot on the net, and then it's controlling his rebound. He makes a save. This player that made the pass, he drives down the middle of the ice, and he's looking for the rebound in this area for a second shot. So it happens at the same time at the other end. This player gives the coach a pass, dips down underneath. Second player comes across, gets a pass, passes it outside, stay outside, shoot middle of the net. Player two, mid lane drive, looking for the rebound. All right, so we'll have the players, uh, the opposite blue lines, and the coach is here at the blue line and at the far blue line. I can get this one. I got it. You know what we're doing? You know what we're doing? Let's go. Go. Shoot. Rebound. Let's go. Let's go. Go to the net. Let's go. Go to the net. Oh, stop for that rebound. Stop for that rebound. Let's go. This is a good drill for the goalies. Make some focus on the first shot and try to control the rebound. We want the first shot off the pads if possible. Let's go. Go to the net, shoot. Good, good, let's go. Shoot. No, shoot it. Let's go! Shoot it! Oh yeah, good, good! Let's go! Oh, sorry. Bad pass for the coach happens once a year. Let's go! Get to the net, get to the net. Rebound. Oh, goalie. Let's go. Shoot it. Oh. Let's go. So they're doing this one quite well. Just got to get shots going to the middle of the net off the pads so there's more rebounds. Let's go. Last one. Good, good. Water, have a drink of water. That was good. All right, we're gonna get into the next phase now. And the next phase is gonna be a progression. And again, because we don't have enough players, we don't have enough players to start from all four lines. We're gonna have to modify the drill a little bit just as we did that one and, and start the players from two different lines. All right, that was good. What, what were we looking for there? A shot off the pads. I saw guys missing the net. I saw guys trying to score. So the objective of the drill 
is for the goalies to have rebound control and, and to condition the player without the puck to get to the net hard and to stop in front of the net. Because that's where all the goals are scored. And if you skate in the corner, or you, you're not ready or you don't stop, you're not going to score. How many, of you, how many of you players watch, watch hockey on TV? How many watch the Toronto Maple Leafs? You tell me, he takes a lot of criticism, but is there a better player in the NHL from within five or six feet of the net scoring than John Tavares? No. He gets knocked down, he gets up, it hits him, it drops, he falls down, he gets up, he taps it in. How many goals does he score from right around the crease? So if you don't stop in front of the net, your chances of scoring aren't very good. So the next drill, we're gonna build up it, this is the progression part that I want to emphasize for the coaches that we're talking to today. You're going to start from the same lines out of simplicity. And, and what it is, it's the first one's a one on O, and then it develops into a one on one, and then it develops into a two on one, all from the same starting spot. So you players were here and here last time, and the coaches were here and here. So this time what I want you to do, it's going to start out like this. And if we're, if we're confused, we'll come back to the board. But player one jumps out backwards. And now I want to see you make good passes. I want you to show uh, your, your stick as a target on the ice. Player two makes a pass to you, and you touch it back to player two right away. Now you turn, and the coach is going to give you a pass, and you're going to touch pass it back to the coach right away. All right, now you're going to turn back to your, your original line, and you're going to get your first puck back again. And you're going to touch pass it again. So the emphasis is on touch passing. So it's easier to touch pass when you get a good pass. So you've touched it back. Now you're going to cut across the blue line. The coach is going to give you a pass. And you're just going to go down and shoot. There's no touch pass with the coach. You're going to go down and shoot. That's the one on O. So it's the same thing here. This player starting out, gets a pass, gives it back, turns. Gets a pass from the coach, gives it back, turns. Gets a pass, gives it back comes across the blue line, gets a pass from the coach, and shoots at the opposite end. Okay, that's part one of it. Part two, you do everything the same. You do everything the same. Now player two from your line, soon as you, soon as you make this pass back and you're coming across, player two sprints across the ice and turns backwards. And now you play one-on-one -on -one with that player. All right, you play one-on-one. -on -one. And don't give up on the puck. Stay on the puck. If you lose it, go to the puck. Just like in a game, you don't stop. All right, and that's a one-on-one. -on -one. The next time you go, again, because we have lack of players, the next time you go, everything starts the same. The next time you go, player one is going across, player two is sprinting, and now player three joins underneath and gets the pass from the coach. Player one's outside, just like the last drill. Pass comes to player three, goes to player one, and player two plays defense. You think we can do that? Yeah. Do we? If, we, if we can't, we'll come back to the board so we can demonstrate it properly. So this next area is a progression drill. We need pucks on all four blue lines and the players can start from the same spot. So this one might be a little more complicated because we don't really have enough guys for it. But I'd like to see, or I'd like to allow you to see what, uh, what a progression drill looks like. So this starts out this starts out as a as a one on o. It goes to a one on one, and then it goes to a two on one. So we all ready? Need some, need some pucks.
I think they have it now. They're doing a little bit better job. Twisting and turning, finding pucks from different angles. Let's go! Go! Let's go! Again, this drill should be operated on all four blue lines with just the players. Let's go! With just the players involved. But again, we had to modify it a little bit just because there's not enough players out here. Let's go! That's the way to yell for it. Let's go! This time, this time, player two jumps across and plays defense. So it starts the same, I give it back, you give it to your player, you go across the blue line, player two sprints across and plays one on one, plays defense. Ready? Let's go. This is the progression now, we've got one on oh, now we're doing the one on one. So we'll do two more and then we'll take it up a notch and make it a, a two on one. Let's go! Last one! Last one! There we go, we'll see if they can do it. Normally, the second guy in the two-on-one jumps in from the opposite side, but because we don't have enough players, player three will have to jump in. So this time, player three. Player three jumps in and makes it a two-on-one. Don't be ahead of the play. have to bring them back to the board here a little bit. Player three! Player three! You have to come across the blue line! You get the pass! And you go down two on one! Try it again! Ready?
Player three's got to be a little bit more attentive to know what he has to do. Player three! Player three! You have to be ready to come across the line. Player three gets the pass for the two on one. Let's go. Come on, come on. I think we'll bring them to the board to help them understand it a little bit better here. We'll bring them in quick. Okay, listen up, listen up. This is a drill. When you're standing in line, you can't hold the boards up. You have to pay attention. You have to pay attention. If you're player three, you're coming across. If you're player one, you're going on the two-on-one. If you're player two, player two, you play defense all the time. So again, it goes like this. Player one starts, gets a pass, gives it back. Turns to the coach, gets a pass, gives it back. Turns to his line, gets a pass, gives it back. Comes under. Player two comes across, this player two comes across and plays defense. And now player three comes in and gets a pass from the coach and you go down two on one. But you gotta be, you gotta be attentive, you gotta be ready over there. Let's try it one more time. Hey, tenders, how many, how many shots are we getting? Right? So here we go, we'll try it again, we'll give it a quick try. This is the end of the progression. I hope it's helping you to understand what a progression is. A progression went from a one on o to a one on one to this two on one. But we're having a little bit of problem with, with player three coming across the ice. There we go, that looks a lot better. That's a lot better. But now we don't have a lot of guys, so we have to wait till the guys get back in the line. That's it, they have it now, they have it now, much better, much better. Again, it's a drill, you need just a few more players on the ice to make it go a little bit more fluidly. We're waiting on the kids to get back in line. We'll do two more. Let's go! Of course, the drill runs much more fluid when you have five players standing at each blue line. Last one coming up. Last one. Last one. Wasn't bad again. Just not enough players to do it properly. Give them a drink of water. Water.
Now we're just going to separate them, give them a little bit of a skill, little, uh, a skill drill, one for the forwards, one for the defensemen. Goalies get shots on both ends, so we'll introduce them. How many defensemen do we have here? One, two, three. Four, okay. So we'll have the defense at this end, we'll have the defense at this end, and we'll have the forwards at that end. What I want here is I want a coach at this end, dumping the puck in. We have a D on the far boards, we have a D starting here. Pardon me, the deal start here, pivot, backwards pivot, grab the puck and wheel with it. When you talk about wheeling, that means take it and go. So you're taking it and going, you're giving a pass to a stationary D. I want this D to drag it up to the blue line backwards. Drive, the, front, drive the, the blue line, this D that made the pass, I want you to get back to the front of the net, and I want a shot from here. After that shot, I want you to sprint across and grab a puck off the far boards and pull it back again and shoot it again. All right, you're skating it backwards across the blue line to get that shot. At the other end, I want you to work on your puck protection and your speed out of the corner. And what it's going to look like here is you're going to have a you're going to start here in the corner, two guys, you're going to race for a puck. The offensive guy is going to get the puck and he's going to, he's going to guard it, he's going to protect it. Player two is going to give him a little bit of pressure from behind on the boards. So make sure your body is between the puck and the opponent. You're guarding the puck on the boards after four or five seconds, you go to the net and you're shooting. Then the guy that was playing defense, he's getting the puck first, so we got a new defender. Again, seven, eight seconds, you turn either from the top or the, the low roll and you go to the net and shoot, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then the last one, Cam, you know this one here? The last one here is just a sh two shots. What it is is you're coming out of the corner. Coach Cam will be on the other side. You're coming around, you're getting a pass. As soon as you get the pass, we want you to shoot. After you shoot, we want you to, to, to go around the circle again from the same corner you're at, and this time pivoting from forwards here to backwards and you're getting a pass, pardon me, we'll do it from this side. Coach Cam will give the first pass, and then you're pivoting to backwards, you're getting a second pass, you're having two shots. All right, so give me the forwards with Coach Cam at the far end. Protect the puck first on the boards, Cam, and then the second one's two shots. I need a D, I need a D here on the boards. Hey, D here on the boards, other D out here. What's the matter? I was putting the puck here, the first one's just puck just protection. On the board, yeah. Five, six seconds, go to the net, shoot, yeah. Backwards, backwards, pull it up backwards. Shoot! Go get it! Go get it! Pull it! Pull it to the middle! Shoot! All right, you're here. Here we go, good. Here we go, puck protection here. Let's go, guys, let's go, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Hi. Here's what it looks like, Cam. You you go and I'll put that. Here's what it looks like. Go to the net. All right. And then the guy that was defense, he's on the boards. Okay, let's go. Other one, other one, get there. Pull it. Let's try and bring it across the blue line backwards. So this is a little just a little bit of skill development here with the forwards. Protecting the puck, using your body to protect the puck. Roll off, get a shot. In the other end with the defenseman, you're working on backward skating, pivoting, making a good first pass, driving the puck up to the blue line, taking a shot, springing to the puck on the far boards. As in a game, you're trying to keep the puck in. Pull it to the middle and shoot. So there's the D going back, pivots. Who's over there? Coach Steve gonna give us a shot here. Boom.
That's it, good. Good, good, pull the middle. Outside, let's go. Have it, um. Pull it up to the blue line backwards. Pull it up backwards, pull it up backwards, that's it. Good. Grab that puck at the blue line, keep it in, keep it in. That's it, good job. These guys here in the forwards, you know, you got to re reinforce. They only get out of it what they put into it. That was uh, one of Brad McCrimmon's favorite sayings. It's like going to the bank. You can only take out what you put in. Come on, guys, got to work a little harder here. Let's go, a little harder. We'll probably only have time for this one, Cam. Now that's it, we're gonna go to the next drill. All right, our last two drills will be, uh, first one will be a team-oriented drill where we'll break out. Five guys will break out. We'll go to the far blue line and come back three on two. I think we have two lines. So we'll work one line out of each end, one at a time. And then we'll, we'll finish off with a, with a small area game uh, with the nets in the corners and play two on two. All right, we'll call them in and let them have a, a drink of water. I thought the defense did real well on this drill. Who's here? Pull it up to the top, oh. Water. Water. All right, the last two drills that we're doing today, one drill is a team-oriented drill. We'll do a five-on-0 breakout, and you'll come back three-on-two against the same guys that broke you out. So we'll go one side, then the other side. Do we have 10 guys? Four, six, eight, 10. So five will be working out of each end. Uh, if we have one extra defenseman, he'll have to rotate out and play forward one time. Next time he plays D, someone else plays D. On the breakout, these are the last two exercises we're doing. On the breakout, coach will dump it in. Same start, we want the D coming up, pivoting to backwards, pivoting back to get the puck. D2, you're giving your partner an out behind the net, it's going D to D. The center that's coming back, you're watching the puck circulate and you're moving with the puck if you're the center. Strong side wingers on the boards, we'll put them up a little higher so the D has two options. We'll put them on the boards and the weak side winger on the far side. So what I want is I want to go in D to D and then this D has a choice. You can either give it to the strong side winger who bumps it back to the center, who's underneath the pass, and this winger slants across to support, or this D gives it right up to the forward who gives it up to the winger, this weak side winger slants Again. across. The three forwards get down to the far blue line, swing back and come back three on two. All right, when they finish, the other guys will come out of the other side. Do you understand what I want? Yeah. It's a D to D pass. I want the center mirroring the puck. I want you low for support. The D with the puck makes the decision. I go to strong side winger who bumps it back to the center who's under, or I give it to the center who bumps it up to the strong side winger, and the weak side winger comes right across the ice, okay, to support that puck. At the far blue line, you're turning and going back. And the last exercise, a little fun game. We'll just work out of one end because we don't have a lot of players. We'll have the net here on, on the on the top of the, the face-off dot. We'll have red on one side, white on the other side. We'll dump a puck in and we'll play two on two. And if, to be offense, you gotta make a pass to one of the coaches. We'll have a coach here. As Soon as you get the puck, you give it to him. He gives it back to you, now you're on offense. If the white steals it back from the red, they give it to a coach, they give it back and they're on offense. You know what we mean? So we'll start with that. So give me players along the boards. I need five players to start. You must know your lines from who you play with. We're dumping it in. We're going D to D, center of the winger, back to the far blue line and back three on two. Goalies in the nets, please.
No, both ends, both ends. D to D. Center, take your time, take your time. Move it. Good, bump it back, good. Coming back, turn. Really good, you guys are going out of the other end. That way. Good breakout, guys, good job. Good job, we'll do it again. D to D, D to D. We're going to the center. Get across here, you got to help. So this is using a team, a, a team oriented drill, all five guys. All five guys are involved. It's either D to D to the low center support up to the strong side winger, or it's up to the strong side winger bump back to the to the, the low center coming up the ice. So here we go. Going back. We're going D to D. He goes to the center this time, and away we go. Good, we're up. Tight back. Tight turn back. And I think I'm going to change that small room game to make it a little bit more fun. Here we go, get it up. Bump it back. Good. Turn it back. Good play. Shoot it. Good play. Good play. So I hope this helps all you coaches that are taking the development uh, again the main emphasis for for me to assist you new coaches is to explain and try and show you what a, a progression is and again we could have used a few more players and it would have made it a little bit easier for you to see that you ready last one i think we'll change a small room game up you want to do one more you guys are rocking it though. You guys are doing a great job. Okay, last one. One more. You ready? Here it is. Ready? Here it is. Kids want to do one more. This line's been doing a real good job right? breaking it out. Bump it back. Really good. Way to go. Turn it back. I gotta change that small room game up that I originally started. I think this one would be more fun since we have less players. Everybody here, we're gonna change it up. We're gonna change it up a little bit. The goalies can change every two minutes. We're gonna end with a small room game here. We'll have the white on this side and the red over here. Red will start on offense, we'll have a coach dumping the puck in. Red gets the puck, right? So white is defending. When white, when white wins the puck, we're good, we only need the one net. When white wins the puck, you get it back to your white guys and they attack, two white guys. These two red guys that were offense, now they play defense. When they get the puck, they pass it to the red guys at the blue line. Those red guys are offense. Now the two white guys are defense. So you go from offense to defense to out. You understand? All right, give me the white on this side, the red on the other side. The goalies change every minute. What's that? When they get a pass, do you go in? You go right in and try to score. All right, ready? Against. You ready? Yeah, we're just gonna use this in. We don't have enough guys. Ready, red offense, here we go, red. Red offense.
Come on, White. Come on, White. Pass. Let's go, White offense. Let's go, go, go. Defense, red. I changed the small room game up because I thought they'd have more fun with it, using the whole zone. There it is, red on offense, go, go, go. White on defense. White on offense. Go. Red on the red on offense. White on offense. White. Tender, tender, slip in there when you can. Go to that. Change the goalies. Red on offense. Red on offense. Defense. Oh, nice save. Nice save. White on offense. Red on offense. Yeah. So I'll thank these kids. They did a pretty good job. They participated well. Again, if there was a few more players out here, it would have been a little bit better. We'll shut her down now. Everybody here. So players, on, on behalf of Coach Steve, and Coach Steve, and Coach Cam, and Coach Mike, we'd like to thank you very much for your effort and your participation. I thought you, you guys for not seeing the drills before, I thought you tried real hard and did a real good job. So thank you very much, and I wish you good luck this year in your season. All right? Thank you very much. Take care, guys. Good luck. All right, coaches at uh, the Development uh, Certification Program for Coaching. Um, we hope that this video helps you and, and you can use it as a resource. As I said, the main emphasis on, on, on the video today is to show what a progression is. Um, we probably could have had a few more players that would have ran a little bit smoother, but I think you get the idea. Uh, again, I've seen a number of coaches come into the Development Coaching Certification Program and when you talk about progression and drill preparation, uh, a lot of them look like a, like a deer in the headlights. They're not quite sure what you mean in terms of progression. And I see it myself here in town watching a lot of hockey schools that a lot of coaches go on the ice and start at the, at the ceiling of the house instead of building a foundation for the kids. And, and kids become frustrated when they can't execute exercises and drills because they've had no lead up. So I, I hope that this helped you uh, understand what a progression is when we went from the one-on-o -on to the one-on-one -on -one to the two-on-one. -on -one, uh, we hope you get an idea and can construct your own, uh, uh, your own progression drills going forward with your team. I wish everyone good luck and uh, thank you for, for volunteering your time to come out and coach the kids and make them better players. Thank you.